yes, uh, it was a Sunday. In, in uh, as a matter of fact, it was in November, and my husband and I were watching the Cowboys game. And then all of a sudden, I felt a throbbing pain on my right breast. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? I didn't tell my husband because I didn't want to alarm you. I went to my bedroom and I examined myself and I found the little lump. So when she stopped by, you know, she says, can you, you know, will you touch it, you know, see if, if you can feel it too. And yes, I did. It was very small, but you could, you know, you could, you could feel it anyway. In a way, it's kind of funny. My twin sister and I are very close. What she feels, I feel. And she was having like pain on the left breast. And I was the one that ended with the cancer on the right breast. So then uh, I knew what was coming because it had been a year and a half that I had lost my daughter with breast cancer and she was just 34 years so I knew what I was heading for I had my surgery and I told them to do a double mastectomy after my surgery they told me that it was good that I had decided on that because I had a little one on my other breast when I would get my chemo I felt fine she was the one that felt everything for me. They would say, you feel okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. They say, you don't look good. You look tired, you look sick. I said, that's okay. Uh, I'm okay, I feel okay. And she would cry and say, I'm so sorry, sister. I could not feel sorry. I don't care if I feel sick. As long as you're okay, it's okay. I came in to UMC, I qualified for their discounts. They did my mammogram, then they did an ultrasound because I needed that. After that, they did a biopsy. And it was towards the end of May when I received the phone call from my doctor saying that it was breast cancer. Sorry. It was very hard. When I, when I found out that my little sister had breast cancer too, because I knew what was coming for her. Because my history, the history in my family, I said, and it's hard enough to really take in what I was diagnosed with. I said, and. I think I would prefer just get, getting them both done. I said, I don't want to have to come back months or years later. I said, I know technology is really, really advanced. I said, but so is this breast cancer. The care here is wonderful. It is wonderful. The people that are here, the nurses, they've all been so wonderful, so sweet, so caring. They see tons of patients and every single one takes a little bit of time every time that you come. They'll sit and they'll talk to you. They, they make you feel at ease because it's not easy. I'm gonna be a survivor for many years. And a lot of it has to do with my doctors and with the wonderful people here in the Infusion Center. UMC has done a great job. Everything is so advanced the hospital, the nurses, the doctors, they're great, they're wonderful. It is a very, very good hospital. So I encourage everybody to please help the foundation because they do help you a lot.